got the truck in for some maintenance. Um, you guys know the dealer tightened the transmission bolts, the case bolts around the ECVT and uh, solved the problem with the leak uh, for the transmission. Well, they sprayed it all down. They checked the fluid and that was about 3,000 miles ago. Let's have a gander. It doesn't take a super smart person to see that. Huh. You know that even from here, that appears to be a leak still. Yeah, that's weird. Huh. It's almost like no way. Did they smear silicone on the No. It kind of looked for like for a second they smeared silicone on the case. Did you know that over torquing case bolts with a silicone seal doesn't fix a leak? Like, come on, man. I think it very well could be the cooler lines, too. I'm not sure. I shouldn't have to be. It's 10,000 miles. That's pretty much, you know. They said it was a seep, so they weren't going to do anything about it. But, uh, the cover, my diaper is uh, soaking it all up. Now it's, now it's back to the back. Before it was only to the front. So yeah, it's just gonna get heavier and heavier. Yeah, I'm switching dealers. Uh, going to a union dealer now. Uh, my dealer is not, not very good with their service department. So yeah, it's not leaking though. Don't worry about it. I'm not gonna say their name, but they know who they are if they're watching. So, wow. This should not be an issue. It started a new thing too. I love this truck. 60, 60 some miles per gallon um, in the city in that. Great truck. But I can't have these issues and I, don't, I shouldn't have to. I'm a brand new vehicle. Um, but it started a new issue on diesel at low speeds under 10 miles an hour. It will, it has this shutter. Uh, when I think it's like there's a clutch in between the engine and the electric motor and I think it's the decoupling clutch That's what I'm gonna call it is uh, Not doing what it should as fast as it should or something's happening where it's not disengaging because it feels like the engine's still rolling over um, When when it's coming to a stop So we'll see what happens, but somebody's gonna fix it I'm not going to get rid of it for the economic, economic uh, gains that I have for having this truck. I mean, I can tow a four-wheeler and get 40 miles per gallon. I mean, it's 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 a great truck, but fix the problem. And remember, it had all these bash marks on it from the factory. Like the jig missed. But, yeah, it's just like... Do your job, man. Fix, fix stuff. And I think most of the problem is flat rate doesn't pay unless you find something. So you'd have to tear into this pretty good to get paid. Um, and why do this when you can go do a brake job and get paid and feed your family? Honestly, I think flat rate shouldn't be a thing. I think flat rate should go away because the customer suffers because the work is just quick, shoddy, a lot, of, a lot of guys are great, you know what I mean? But it's, it's a known thing in the community that, oh, I'm going to flat rate this. I'm going to flat rate that. That, that means I'm going to cut corners because I have to because they're not going to pay, especially warranty. And that's not right. That's the manufacturer winning, basically, because they're, they're undercutting the dealer. Um, and not this is all manufacturers. They're, they're undercutting the dealer financially and say no it doesn't take that long unless you can convince them that it took that long well i mean i, I i'm not the only one i do i see this pretty much weekly uh not this problem but just brand new things breaking so I, it's a problem that's going to figure itself out because people are just going to fix old cars or something's going to happen i mean it's just this is People aren't going to stand for this, and it's gotten worse every year. So, all right, guys, until next time, have a good day. I still love this truck. 
I still plan on doing stuff to it. Um, I wouldn't get rid of it. It's new construction. It is what it is. This is what you get. <laughs> so a car from the 90s won't have that many issues, but it's not going to be this fancy and advanced. It's like you're not going to find this stuff. So, but all right, we'll see you. Thanks for watching.